Related to income security is the issue around homelessness. I touched on that a little bit earlier. Let's just put this in context. Homelessness, Canadians in Canada, I believe, uh, one of the stats provide, provided is at 235,000. That is the number. Now, Mr. Speaker, in my own community, there was just a homelessness count, up 30% in Metro Vancouver, some 3,600 people in the region are folks who are without a home. That includes about over 1,000 people who are in shelters, who are sleeping on doorways, in alleys, in parks, or couch serving. So that's um, not an insignificant number, Mr. Chair, and that number has gone up 30%, and women amongst them. And I have done the homelessness count before, back in the day when I was an activist in the community. And we are seeing women in the parks, park benches. We're seeing women and senior women out on the street on their own. And what do we see in this year's budget to address homelessness? Zero. As though somehow we could wait and push that down the road. I wonder if Anybody here, if it was you or your family who's homeless, would you say that we don't need urgent action and that we can wait another year or two years for the government to take action? I would argue not. So, Mr. Speaker, for the Prime Minister to say he's a feminist, let me say this to him. Do something about it. Match your words with real action so that the people out in the community all women from all walks of life can benefit and lift up, be lifted up in society to take their place. That's what a feminist would do, Mr. Speaker.